This is the how-to video for the flash part of the movie project Tuesday. Uh, I have flash open here. Uh, these are my layers, uh, the timeline. Um, I put it into three layers. The first layer is the body and the eyes. Uh, all like one object. Um, on the timeline down here, I, the only thing I changed for the animation was the Blinking and the uh, location of the pupils, make her look around and blink, make it make her seem a little bit more alive. Uh, the um, layer in the middle is the uh, the audio. We just put the audio in, and then the uh, top layer is the just the mouth. I made a separate layer for the mouth and made it match the audio. Uh, just basically making different shapes that kind of resembled the mouth shape of those sounds. Uh, we had to make the background pink because, which we just went to document settings, uh, because it makes it easier to uh, take the background out in After Effects because her eyes are white, so we can't have the background white. I uh, just went to export and exported it here. Uh, this you can change settings uh, on this before you export it. Um, sometimes if it doesn't work correctly, you have to go to these video settings and change the quality or the frame rate. And uh, then we just export it and get it into After Effects. That's basically all we had to do for the flash part. Okay, so in After Effects, I'm going to show how to incorporate an animation into a live action scene. So I've already have my animation exported as a dot move from Flash and I've dragged it on to the scene here. Uh, so first off we need to key out the background color on the animation. So on the layer of the animation go up to effect and go to keying and uh, color key. And then you can take the eyedropper right here and just click on the background and then it will take out most of the color and for some reason I have this white line on the side so what I do is I just uh, go up to the rectangle tool and it's a uh, it creates a mask and I just draw around it keeping out that white line and that's what gets rid of that so you don't have to worry about that being in there and uh, one thing that we can do is um, we can mess with the uh, color tolerance and it will take away more of the pink and uh, but once you get to a certain point you can kind of see it taking away other colors that are similar to your background color so you want to go as far as you can with that until it doesn't take away any of the other colors so I still have a little bit of pink around there so um, you can kinda mess with this as well um, sometimes if you use edge thin it takes out too much and it kind of leaves it kinda jagged um, you can also feather it out but that just expands the background as well um, Sometimes it's not as clean as this when you do use the to tolerance. So another thing that I use is I go to stylize and then rough and edges. And this rough and edges ironically kind of smooths it out if you use it correctly. Um, especially if you have like a black outline on your animation. Uh, so I'm going to go to rough and color. Then I'm just going to change this to uh, black if you have a black outline. And um, right now, it already has a pretty rough outline of that. So you can mess with the different um, settings on this. Um, and there's edge sharpness. You can smooth it out if you want to. Um, and then the fractal influence. I usually have that probably all the way down. And then usually border has to be pretty thin, depending on your other um, lines on your drawing as well. You probably want to match that as best as you can. Um, 
and the complexity also and you just kind of want to mess with those until you kind of see um, what fits the best Uh, this is kind of rough, but I mean, gradually get there. It's not too bad. It's a little bit rough right here, but you can usually get a pretty good outline of your drawing using this. So now that we have this uh, pretty basic cutout of your animation, um, the next thing is to just place it where you have or uh, place it where you need to. I've already done that and um, the voice exported with the flash animation so that's already in there as well so I think that is all I hope I helped you out if you want to try and get your animations into your live-action films 